Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. As you can see, I didn't even pause the movie to change. I didn't even want to turn my heat on. I went and got my scarf. But my heat popped on. Now I want to pop on. But y'all, oh my gosh, I just finished watching Bird Box on Netflix. As you can see, I was teary-eyed. Anything with children, anything with disabled or anything with anyone with disability, I cry. I cry. I'm a cry baby. I'm very, very emotional when it comes to humanity. I tell you that right now. But let me tell you, this was a very heart racing movie. And I just forgot the name of the director and the producer and the person who actually wrote it was based on actual story, actual book, but I'll, I will um, put those down in the description box after this um, commentary. But I just want to say something. That movie was everything. And I'm going to tell you why. It wasn't too much and it wasn't too little. You know, sometimes movies go overboard with the gore. They go overboard with that. And this was very... The way it was set up was very realistic. And there's been a lot of movies that have been written and um, produced to show these like end time stories, apocalypse type stories, and things like that. Um, and let me tell you something, you know, anybody who has ever known anything about spirits, the Bible, whatever the case may be, um, any type of cultural stories, you cannot help but say to yourself throughout this whole story that we, we wrestle against not flesh and blood, but against spirits and principalities. That's what this movie could have literally been named. It could have been named AKA, it could have been named Bird Box, AKA spirits and principalities. And you know, some people don't believe, I, I, I can't to this day understand how people don't believe that what happens in this world is because of spirits and, principality, and principalities. But um, I just wanna let y'all know, you know, I really thoroughly enjoyed the movie. I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. Um, I don't think there was too much of anything. I think there was a little bit of everything in the movie. There was a little bit of humor here and there. Um, there was, of course, suspense. There was some uh, horror. There was, um, you know, death, times of desperation, times of victory. And I just found that, I don't know what it was. I had a feeling that the little girl, which her name was Olympia, her mommy was Olympia, the little girl in the story, when she was standing in the wind and she had her blindfold on and she put her hand out like that, I thought in my mind that was going to lead to some sort of powers that these little children were going to have. So, like, I kept looking and waiting for probably another 30 minutes or more to see if that was part of the movie. But apparently she did feel, you know, she felt it. So she put her when she put her hand out like that. I thought I saw the wind like stop. I don't know. It could be my imagination, but I'm glad they did not show the children hurting themselves in this movie because apparently it could affect the children as well. Um, I did think early on in the movie, I said, okay, well, if, this is this is activated these type of entities are activated by the sight of a, you know of individual well what about all the blind people i immediately i would say within i'll say in 30 minutes into the movie or so 40 minutes i was like okay well what about all the people who, who are blind you know and um the only there was no indication of of blind people until of course the end of the movie because that's where they were able to find refuge was at you know an academy for the blind and consequently her maternity her OBGYN was was there as well um the tenacity of of everyone who 
was trying to survive was was unbelievable. It was great. Um, I like the the multicultural uh, stars that they put together um, into the movie. It was really nice to see an Asian person in a movie in a in a, in, a, in a supporting a uh, star role. Um, it was nice to see seniors in starring roles. I consistently look for Asian, senior, Hispanic, um, you know, Pacific Islander. I like to see uh, a, a, a mirage of, 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 of individuals, of ages, stages, abilities in movies. To me, those, those make movies more colorful and make, they make movies more relatable and more interesting. So I really did like that part of the movie. Um, once again, um, you know, it was unbelievable how, well, let me say this. Now, one thing that it might be controversial is that the bandit, the bandits or the people that were going around uh, un 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 unblindfolded, uh, not not blindfolded, were these crazy, you know, people that had opened their minds to the evil entities that had entered into the atmosphere, and I there was a reference to those people have that were already in psychiatric wards. So these were people who were either in psychiatric wards or people who were already in a in a you know psychotic mental state, sociopathic state, I guess. And so I started to think to myself, okay, so so is the underlying is there an underlying message stating that people who are in those states are actually affected by demons and spirits? So therefore, that's why they're open and they were not killing each other themselves or each other, but they were running around, you know, basically e immune, immune, uh, e uh, let me talk, immune to wanting to kill themselves because the demons had already had already had their mind. So like they were using these people to terrorize others. Does that make sense to you? So just I wonder if anyone's going to say, hey, this makes people who are mentally unstable to look like monsters. I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know. I was kind of like getting into that mind that mindset. I was painting a narrative there. So, so of course, the movie shows perseverance. It shows survival, survival instinct. Um, it definitely gets you in a pit of your stomach, like, wow, you know, something could actually come to this earth or people or things that could, you know, destroy us. And so, you know, people all over the world and third world, third world countries, you know, hide every day from people, real people, um, who want to hurt them and kill them. So I just, you know... This type of movie, I don't think would be good for someone who was already living in a situation or trying to survive in a situation such as that. This is definitely a Western uh, culture movie. It's definitely a Western culture movie. Uh, liter and the movie is based in Northern California. Isn't that interesting? Part well, they mentioned Northern California quite a bit. And Upper California, which is, you know, where I am. So it was kind of interesting to hear people say Stockton and, and Sacramento and a couple other places. So, but uh, the thing with the river, I was a little bit confused because I'm like, where are they exactly? You know, I probably wasn't paying attention to that part when they were talking about the area with the, where the river actually was. Of course, there are places like that. There's lots of places like that in California, but I got confused exactly where they were for part of the movie. Um, it was just amazing. It was a good movie. It was a good movie. Um, I would say out of one out of five, five being best, in my opinion, and I'm not an expert, I would definitely say, gosh, I'd have to say four and a half. Like, literally, I don't... That other that other half, the other half a point um, would probably be incorporating 
the children's abilities more clearly. But then again, that could have been just me not watching well enough. But I just feel like, I guess because, you know, that's just who I am. I, when when that situation happened, I wanted to see, oh, okay, so are the children able to um, show some sort of abilities that possibly, you know, we need to open our eyes to that could possibly be, you know, part of the fantasy of this movie? Anyway, like I said, I feel like this movie was a definite survival list movie. And what I liked about it also was that the situation joined so many people from different walks of life. Um, I want to say the graphics were very good. I think uh, the makeup artist was great. The clothing was great. Um, just the setting, the whole setting was, was really great and very suspenseful. So... Definitely watch it during the day if you're a scaredy cat like me. Um, it's still daytime here. Like, I'm acting like it's nighttime. But as you can see out of my glasses, like, look at my blind. Like, it's light outside. <laughs> I'm just being in here. Anyway, y'all. So, that's all I wanted to say. Um, I have a lot more to say. But, like, I'm going to be rambling and rambling. So, let me get off. I'm already on 10 minutes. Once again, um, Bird Box. Good movie. Good movie. Um, if you want suspense, if you want survival, if you want a mixture, a, a multicultural cast of really great actors, um, this is a good movie. Okay.